All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, this is that huge monster arcade board, which is Primal Rage. And I figured we could turn this thing on here and give this thing a shot. You can see GT Rage Family is what it says there. But uh, let's turn on the switch here and see what it does. See what's right with it or what's wrong with it. Let's hit the old switch. Okay, well, at least you guys can see that uh, it's coming up with uh, the test menu here. It says uh, volume test. This is uh, like the dip switch menu. I flipped the switch here just to see uh, what this thing would do, and obviously it's going through its, uh, its test menu, so that's good. Um, it's really hard to see just because everything is off really, really bad. So let's turn this thing off here one more time. And you'll see that there is a switch on the top here. And this one is, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that must be for the, uh, the test there. So let's hit it one more time. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Uh, it is working. Um, it's working with no sound, and it's just a uh, you know it's just scrolling along super super fast. The uh, the sync is off on the thing, but it looks like the picture is uh, you know for the most part it looks like the picture is pretty clear. So we are gonna have to see what we can do about uh, fixing this monster here. Let's uh, take a closer look at the board. As you can see, there's one light on here. That's the only one. There's no other lights on here. There's actually a couple of lights. There's a green light and a red light that are uh, up here, but those aren't on. And uh, let's turn this thing off. I'll show you guys what the, uh, what the damage is here. You guys can take a look over in this corner. You can see there was a nice little fire with some capacitors there. Now what I'm guessing is that somebody tried to plug in this uh, well, this connector, whatever it is, looks like maybe in the audio area, maybe this is part of the video connection as well, but there are some traces that are running along there and have seared all of these uh, re uh, resistors on here. So what we're going to have to do is kind of go through here and replace all these resistors and go from there. So I'm going to go hunting and see if I can find these uh, particular resistors that are around here and see if we can get this thing patched up and see if anything changes. So be back in a few. Okay, so as you can see here, I've taken out a couple of the resistors that were located over here. Uh, these were located at R5 and R4. You can see there's some scorch marks there on the plastic, as well as this uh, resistor pack there. A little bit of uh, overheating. But luckily, on this resistor, I was lucky enough to find that there are still the, uh, the bands are still intact. And for those of you who don't know much about resistors, basically they do exactly what uh, the name is. They resist the flow of current between two points. So the lower the resistor you have, the more flow that you have. The higher the resistor, the less flow. It's kind of like putting a kink in a hose and, uh, you know, turning on the water. Uh, with the one on the right here, this one is actually a brown, black, black, gold uh, resistor. And for those who don't know about the resistant chart, you can actually find a chart online. Uh, they usually sell them. You can you could buy just like a, a resistor, uh, what is it, like a, a pack. Sometimes they actually have like uh, resistance on the, the pack itself. You can uh, go online, you can use a calculator. They have a resistor calculator where you just put in the color to the uh, of the bands and you can calculate the resistance of them. But for those out there who have never seen a resistor before and never messed around with a resistor, these two resistors may look very similar to the human eye. Um, this one, as you can see, is brown, black, black, gold. The one on the left is brown, black, brown, gold. And these are two different resistors. Um, the resistor on the right is a 10 ohm resistor which means it has a lot of current that can flow through it. The one on the left is a 100 ohm uh, resistor, which means it has less current. So if you were to change these around, it would probably be like uh, the difference between starving, um, you know, a, a huge river of water, or the difference between, you know, opening up a huge dam and letting the water just go flowing through. So you have to be careful when you put in resistors and replacement resistors here. As you can see, somebody has just jumped this one with a uh, another resistor of the same one. But um, 
We'll see if we can find some that are similar to this. Hopefully, these other ones here will also be 10 ohm resistors. As you can see around the board, there are quite a few 10 ohm resistors that are just uh, located or scattered throughout the board. So I'm guessing that's a pretty common one for this uh, particular board. We'll see what we can do with it nonetheless. But sometimes you may also find a uh, another resistor with a different color code that will actually have the same amount of resistance. So as an example for this one here, um, having one that's brown, black, Orange and gold would also be a 10 ohm resistor, but uh, the gold and the silver bands just kind of change the material that uh, that they're made out of. So, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, let's see if we can go through here and find some more resistors that will work with these and replace these ones out. And I'm gonna have to do something with this one too because this one looks like a you know a little bit of a mess as well. And that one is also a 100 ohm resistor uh, down there. So I don't know. I really don't like this kind of a piggyback job going on there we'll see what we can do though but uh, next is to try and remove all of these other ones here one by one just to make sure I don't want to remove them all and forget which location they went on but uh, definitely want to remove them out of here and see if there's any burn traces underneath because it doesn't look so pretty but let's jump on that and see what we can find all right, so I've got all these resistors back in here. They may look a, a little bit rough, but uh, yeah, they're in there, and uh, they're all good. I've changed out the ones in there, and one thing I was doing while I was going around the board here to try and inspect it, I removed both the top parts here. One thing I noticed down here in the corner is you can see there's a broken capacitor. Now, I don't know what, uh, you know, what this may entail. This may be the main problem for it. I'm not sure, but we need to try and see if we can find a capacitor here to bridge this and see if we can uh, fix this problem because that's not supposed to be like that that's a, uh, a pretty big issue there so we'll check that as well as checking some of these traces around here they look a little bit scratched up but we'll check to see if they have good continuity and if they do then great uh, if not we'll try and patch them up here but uh, let's try and get on that and see how that works all right guys so as you can see here this thing is just uh, flashing like crazy but I did uh, kind of do something a little bit experimental here since this board is really, really huge. I started taking uh, components off of it. Still could not uh, seem to find the correct component to get this thing working um, until I took a wire here and uh, I wired this thing up. Let me turn on the lights for a second. This uh, monitor here is really, really dim. So when I turn the lights on, it's kind of hard to see. But... What I did is uh, I went looking around here to see if I could find out any problems with the video sync and just could not figure out what was going on here. I replaced all the uh, the uh, resistors on this side. I took off the, the connector here because I thought there might be something going on with that. I thought that might be actually bad so uh, or some traces underneath that but I uh, couldn't find anything just went around this whole board pushing on different stuff trying to uh, check around different stuff could not find anything except what I did here is I wired up a wire to the video sync and on the end here I have a 100 uh, ohm resistor and taking a look at this chip here if I put it on leg was this leg one I believe you guys can see but um it comes back to life now uh, I'll take this off whoa it's a huge mess so let me uh, let me turn the lights off here and show you this one more time so you guys can take a better look as you can see everything's like all kind of garbly here we're gonna go over here and look at this this is kind of interesting because I actually did remove this chip and I don't have one uh, as a replacement for it I think it's something like an LS let me see I think it's an LS 11 LS7411 something like that let me see here this one is a Ah, it's a 7406 but with the 7406 here like I said put the thing on pin number one and bingo we've got kind of uh, at least playable stuff as you can see up the top the convergence uh, convergence is a little bit off here at the top it's a little bit blurry uh, for sure but nonetheless it will keep a stable picture and that is about a hundred times better than uh, anything else. And then right here, it looks like it's okay. Um, it actually looks okay there. But 
I think I might uh, do a little bit of wiring like that just to uh, just to keep this thing going because I mean as of right now you know the insert coins a little bit uh, pulled to the side but it is alive it is going to be a playable board so what I'll do here is I'll just tack that in place and uh, we'll come back and see if that uh, if that'll keep and we'll be able to keep this uh, keep this image here on screen so I'll be back in a few seconds Wee, mess again <laughs> okay so we got our 100 ohm resistor here on this wire connected up to our video sync and we'll turn this beast on here and see what happens should be uh, should be okay should remain stable we'll give it a shot nonetheless here this primal bridge board uh, does not want to die ah look at that you can see, like I said, up at the top, the convergence at the very top is not good, but everything else seems to be pretty decent. That's not too bad. Just a little bit, like I said, up at the top there with the insert coin, but at least it's holding a stable picture. The, uh, the red and the blue seem off a little bit, so I might have to uh, mess around with those resistors a, a bit more. They might be uh, off by a bit, or it might just be... Uh, you know my monitor itself here I know this thing isn't the greatest it's not the most perfect but I'm guessing it's the resistors that I replaced on the board itself when I looked at the schematics it looked like there was a what was it a lot of 10 ohm resistors and a couple of like 470 ohms and one 100 ohm uh, resistor on there but you know nonetheless it's it's alive, you know. I will take this, definitely take this any day. I don't think I can, like I said, I don't think I can make this any brighter. It looks more blue through the camera than it actually really is. It's just that the uh, the darkness, the contrast on this thing is really, really, um, yeah, it's really, really dark. So, I mean, it could be the fact that maybe this, uh, I don't have the plus 5 volts cranked up enough. But, let's, let's try and hit the old coin in button. Oh, that's a half a credit. There's one credit. So, press start. Oh yeah, look at that. So it's not uh, it's not completely perfect here, but it's not dead. Far from dead. But what I'm guessing is uh, I'm gonna have to replace that um, IC. That uh, what is it? Seventy four oh six IC just to uh, get this thing to work correctly but yeah it's not uh, not bad I'm pretty pleased Whee! you know considering the size of this board and like like I had mentioned I was going everywhere looking for bad traces looking for all sorts of wild stuff just to try and get this thing um, you know to work somewhat and yeah so we got uh, we got video No uh, special combos here. Just a bun bunch of button mashing. And for this board here, for those of you who aren't f familiar with this thing, it actually does have a soundboard. You're probably wondering why it doesn't have sound. Well, the soundboard's sitting here. The soundboard itself has to be connected up through a, a few different uh, spots on here. Uh, where is it? These are the pinouts for the... Uh, the speakers and these can be found online if you look for the manual for uh, was it primal rage it'll tell you what each one of these pins does I don't know exactly off the top of my head but I know that two of these are for an amplifier and then the other ones are for right and left channel once I get them wired up I'll definitely let you guys know what it is but um, yeah that's uh, that's why this thing doesn't have any sound it's kinda got a really funky sound setup to it but yeah, it does have picture right now, and we will get the sound working eventually on it, but for right now, I am pleased with that, and uh, I'll have to figure out what's up with the uh, the dark screen there, if um, if we can get that any brighter or not. But yeah, that's, uh, that's about enough repairs for right now, and about enough rambling for me for right now, but like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Whee!